For today's video, I want to build a bubble community residence. There will be 4 units here with 2 different types, A units and B units. I will place this community residence on 64 by 64 lot at the top of Delso Valley and this actually inspired by a request of my fellow Simmer on Instagram. They requested actually for an apartment with a communal garden but for now I don't have any idea to build apartment so I'm making bubbles instead which I thought it's a pretty good idea so here I am I decide to use bubble for my unique approach actually it's not a communal garden I would say it's communal center which I will place it in the center of the community which is what I'm trying to build first right now there will be swimming pool area along with the lounge chair if your sims want to relax and sunbathing. Near the pool, I'm placing a barbecue area here and picnic bench too. There will be playground along with sand below them for safety reason. Besides the swing, there will be monkey bars as well. This playground requires seasons expansion pack. Actually, you can place other outdoor activities into your liking in this communal center, so feel free if you want to change some of the facilities. Okay, let's put down some stone first. It's kind of annoying stuff, but I always love with the result. Using this white stone to shape the pathwalk can really step up your landscaping. Now we're moving on to placing some facility again. As you can see, there will be chess boards and painting easel for the community hobbies and fireplace area where your sims can hang out and make marshmallow toast by listening to neighbors gossip. <laughs> Yes, most of the facilities are outdoor, so that's why these community are suitable only for sims with outdoor lifestyle. Before we continue, if you are new to my channel and this is your first video, if you like what you are watching right now, please subscribe and give me like and comment, or maybe share this video to your friends. And if you are my subscriber, welcome back, it's good to see you here, I hope life's been treating you well. Okay, now we're gonna placing the stone for the center part, which require tool mode by Twist Maxi. I'm gonna put the link on my description. If you saw lots of building videos or tutorial, you must already familiar with this mode. So by using this tool mode, we can create stone pathwalk. Well, not just with stone, you can do it with other objects as well to create perfect circle shape, like I'm doing right now. It's pretty simple if you know the steps. And it's gonna be like this. Now we just need to delete all stones that block the pathway. Let's do the finishing touch by giving some terrain spray so it will look more volume and realistic. And don't forget about the lighting. You don't want to see nothing when night comes, don't you? <laughs> Now this is the last part of the communal center, this one is an unexpected idea of mine. I just thought that maybe by placing a decoded area at the back of the community will be a great place to hang out. Especially I will be placing this on Delso Valley in Judith Ward's residence. The view from this tea garden area will be scenic, like this. Isn't it beautiful? The shape of the roof is inspired by the bubble, of course. <laughs> Everything in this community will be circle shaped. That's actually my concept for this build. Now we add the essential part, which is the table and chairs. I'm planning on making the entrance with garden theme, but let's make the path walk first. Even the path walk in this area is circle shaped too. By the way, I'm using the same method by using the tool mode, like what I did back there to create the circle pathwalk for community center. Even the plants must in circle shape. <laughs> Everything must be in circle shape. I am totally obsessed with circle at this point. And placing some trees and plants. This circle object is what I love with debug base game item. If you're familiar, you must came across with this object on Oasis Spring. This object came with different shape, such as square, rectangle, and some abstract shape as well. 
Okay, finally we'll move on to the residence area, which we're gonna put some stone first for the pathwalk, just like what we do on the communal center. This part is gonna take long if I don't speed it up, so I'm just gonna speed the whole thing and move on to the next part, which is the bubble! By the way, I actually really love the concept of the house entrance lead to the basement. I have this imagination on my mind if this house design put into real life, which it's gonna be weird and I think it will be um, kinda dangerous. I mean, let's put our perspective as the guest. Perhaps you don't really know the house owner, maybe you just got here in this neighborhood, or maybe you're just a delivery guy, a courier guy. If something happens to you when you are on the basement, I think the probability someone's gonna hurt you when something happened is almost zero. But well, this is just a game. <laughs> it doesn't matter. As for the entrance, I'm trying to make it as bright and as welcoming as possible. I mean, I really want this community residence to have good vibes. And this is the final look of the entrance. Every unit will have the same entrance like this one, so I'm gonna duplicate it to other units as well. Now we're moving on to placing mailbox and trash bin. Maybe it's kinda ruining the visuals, but for practical reasons, I think it's suitable to be placed here. I will also duplicate these to other units as well. Now let's put some grass inside the bubble for aesthetic purpose. <laughs> By the way, I'm using mod tools again for duplicate this to other units. It saved me so much time. Yeah, like this. See? Now we are move on to the interior. The floor plan will be the same for all units, except the bubble and the second bedroom. In each unit, there will be entrance with stairs straight to the bubble area. Next to the entrance, there will be living room merged with kitchen and island bar. I put two bedroom and one bathroom with separated shower and toilet. I designed it this way because I think it's more practical. The other sims can still use the toilet even though someone is showering. <laughs> I created two types of bubble called as A units and B units. Both have different purpose. Like A units purposely made for young sims so they will have extra room which can be transformed into guest room or activities room. The furnitures inside the bubble will also made for hangout place. Meanwhile, the B units purposely made for families. One bedroom for the parents and one bedroom for the kids. The furnitures inside the bubble will also full of family activities. Well, you can change it the way you like. This is my version. Creativity has no limit, so feel free to change them as much as you like. As what you can see right now, I purposely place indoor gardens in every room here in the basement to make experience of living under here will be no different than in outdoor, which is the main purpose of this community. And the basement furnitures of each unit will be the same like what you see right now. I made it that way in case you want to delete them and replace it with your own furnitures. There are no many furnitures or clutters here, so it will make it easier for you to delete them. The living room area will be right next to the entrance with indoor garden view. If you see it from Sims POV by pressing shift and tab, it's amazing. The master bedroom also have their own indoor garden. This totally my favorite room layout. Like when you enter the room, you will be greeted by the comfortable bed and the nice view of the indoor garden. Now this is what I was talking about the second bedroom that will have different options for your sims. I will give you three examples for the second bedroom. For the first option here, the second bedroom will be for the kids. 
either it's a single child or maybe you have twins you can bought a bunk bed for them and you can easily add more room in her because there are plenty of space here in the basement now for the second option it will be for a library or home office it's very suitable if your sims is a freelancer which they work from home to make it more homey i'm placing indoor fireplace unit here too For the third option, I have an idea to turn it into a gym or a fitness area. In case it's raining season or it's winter, your sims can still exercise in using this indoor facility. Now let's move on to the next part, which is the bubbles, the highlight part of today's build. By the way, the bubbles for this build is much bigger than the first bubble I created, which is my first video here. If you haven't watched the video, you can find them on my channel. That's why I can use theirs now instead of letter, like previously. So, this A in its bubble will be like a bar or something to be a private hangout place, which is cool, right? Imagine faxing this to your friends. <laughs> Like if your friend circle want to have a party and need a base game for hangout, you will be like, oh sure, just come over my place. And boom, party all night. <laughs> well, like usual bar, there must be a lounge area. This lounge area will have scenery view from the top of Kelso Valley, which is gonna be awesome. Either it's daytime or nighttime, both time will be amazing. Now we'll move on to the next unit, which B units. This one made for families, so must be kids friendly. <laughs> no alcohol, no bar, just ordinary stuff like regular house half. As for B units, I'm planning on placing a fireplace area so you can chill here while watching the scenery view of Delso Valley. And then there will be dining room too, which is gonna be such a flexing if you invite a guest over and then they will be like, wow, you do have such a nice view for dining room. <laughs> you can see the whole Delso Valley from here. Now we just need to play some hobby activities. You can change them as much as you like, but for now, I will place painting easel and chessboard table. Okay, now we are almost finished here, and it's time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoy watching this build, and I hope you have a nice holiday. See you next time. Bye bye.